walk in. A walk oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, can we do the Mingus one? No, that's not there. <laughs> some friends who ran a dispensary and you know I have some friends who uh, are really great jazz musicians so I thought why why can't we play there I mean the the guys that that play at LA Con they are they are real jazz artists with personal styles that are you know they're special we don't get to play with each other that much you know for money and we're all searching for you know a way to live life playing music More than an area of the record store, jazz is kind of a philosophy, you know, it's a way of life. Is that life is filled with kind of unpredictable shifts and then playing jazz is a good practice in learning how to negotiate the changes as they come. The monastic element of what being a jazz musician, or any kind of musician, is you're by yourself for a while, you develop your thing, and then when you meet with other musicians, you guys find a, a way to fit it together and make the agreement to make it sound good. In a way, it's like taking off on a plane. You know, you, you take off and that is rough. It's like tur uh, turbulent and shaky and finally you hit that plateau and it's like. It's just so beautiful and perfect. Everything that Shantae plays in this setting in you know, the, the jazz setting where there's nothing at stake, where he can just be himself. a gig in a hash bar before. <laughs> it's your first for me. <laughs> the point is not the drug. It's it's always the music. You always put that first and sometimes the drug can, you know, open up your mind a little bit to relax and and become become more one with the music. Jazz is, is supposed to be a soundtrack for sex. We bring that spirit in, it's like this real like rawness and spontaneity. And it's so perfect it's happening in a hash bar because it's like has this like kind of illicit speakeasy underground thing that only a select few can come into. You can't just walk in there. You have to you have to be a member. You have to earn your way in there. It's uh, a cutting edge environment for for cutting edge music. Technical ability, you know, it doesn't really always equate out to good art. 
my aunt is a really big influence in bringing out a personalized sound. Used to yawn a lot if I would tell her about what I was doing. She's like, oh, that's boring. Where, you know, where is your voice in this? This place gives us an opportunity to explore each other as soloists, uh, taking turns being the person that um, is in the forefront, is, is, is speaking and expressing you know, as a soloist. Sometimes there were two people, sometimes there were 30 people. You think it would be packed, it would be a line at the door for hash bar alone. Everyone who I tell, they get so excited about you but you're playing at a hash bar every week on Sunday dude oh my god you know it's like oh I gotta have my card you know then it's like ah. Uh. people people don't really go out as much these days which is sad I mean it's like you know it's we've become kind of an insular society because we have all our shit at home most of of my constituents um, don't listen to jazz really some people get a lot out of listening to musicians and some people could care less. Great American musicians who do not get their due and um, they're living legends. They're like walking, living museum pieces right in your own city. There's so many people like that, you know, right now. You just kind of have to look and listen. The side of the audience member, you have to, you're going to have to come to, to the music. And in this case, that, that's what happens sometimes. Pop music it kind of comes to you. Sometimes you got to come to the music. Tip your butt tender. Tip your butt tender.